So this is to um, help you with the Alexa skill for the requirement um, to get your digital badge. The final project. Um, it says, in order to complete the requirements for this badge, we need to build an Alexa skill, a skill as simple or as complex as you wish, and submit the skill name and your VID for review. So we're going to go with simple. I'm assuming most of you guys want to do simple. Um, so what I did, I think, as whenever I got my badge, was to keep it simple, um, is I did an RSS feed from a podcast and to a flash briefing. So a flash briefing is just like a flash briefing, just like news alert of whatever happening, like a pandemic update, just like an update, something short and sweet and um, quick. And to the point is what a flash briefing is. So what I did, I go to anchor.fm and it's a podcast website, so you can create podcast. Now, um, what you can do is I'm not expecting you guys to make a whole podcast series, but this might be good practice if you're interested in it. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an account with anchor.fm. It's free. And I'm going to do um Actually, I'm going to do this one. I think that's it. So I'm logging in to mine. Um, like I said, you would just need to create an account. So what you would go to is dashboard. I think, give me a second. It's been a while since I've done this. Might be settings. I think it was settings. Go to settings. Um, So you would create an account, you can upload a logo, you can use a default template, you can do whatever you want. Or you have a particular image you want to upload, that's fine. And then you go to distribution, and then you're going to be able to update it. Um, again, if you want to do a series, this is how you would do it for this, for just you're doing it just because I'm making you do it for the skill. All you're going to need is this RSS feed. So you click copy, and when I pause this, Okay, so I'm in the Alexa developer console, which is developer.amazon.com. And um, let's see, I'm trying to think. So developer.amazon.com forward slash en dash us forward slash Alexa, or just Google Ale Amazon Alexa developer console. So what you can do is go to Alexa Skills Kit. Hold on, it's been a while. Developer Console. Make my scarf. It's like. Um, so we're going to create a skill, and we're going to do flash briefing. And like I said, it gives users control of their news feed. The pre-built model lets users control what updates they want to listen to. So basically, it's just an update. So we're going to do um, mine Scott Bytes and Bits, Flash Briefing, Create Skill. So then we're going to do the custom error message. Um, and I just usually copy this. Um, the example, Alexa says this, if the customer of the skill fails rendering for the content, skill name is not available. So I would put bytes and bits is not available hit save and let's see account linking okay permissions it's been a while since i've done this so give me a sec flash briefing or somewhere in pick here a new feed there we go so um, a short introduction um, in developer news and news from bytes and bits, something along those lines. And the name is what, I'm just gonna put bytes and bits, content update frequently. So I'll put weekly, it's gonna be audio. 
content genre, genre, or however you say it. Um, we'll put other. And then the feed. So this is the RSS feed that you copied from Anchor. Paste that in there. Now we need an icon. Let's see. So I might have to grab something here. I want to pause this while I create a 512 by 512 PNG. Okay, so I have my um, icon in there. Click Add. And then click Save. And then I'm trying to remember what else. Then I think I go to distribution. I'm pause this if I remember. Okay, so for the code, there's no code because it's the flash briefing and it's just it doesn't have that. Um, testing, I don't think we need to worry about testing for this. Distribution is what our next step is. So public name is bytes and bits, um, a short name, um, short description, this week's musings about education, I don't know, something like that. Um, this week's thoughts and processes on education and learning, something. Um, I don't think that's required. So, so it does not support custom phrases. So flash briefings are pre-built kind of component. So you can say what's your flash briefing or what's in the news. So somebody would subscribe to your flash briefing. So the small scale icon, I think I saw one that was already there. As you can see, it's 108 by 108. I thought I saw something that was already 108. There it is. Shoot. Okay, and then for the bigger one, which is 512, it can be JPEG. So let's go ahead and put it as JPEG. Um, let's see, category, you can put whatever you want. Um, it's not a game. Let's just do that. Keywords, um, AWS. You can say separate by comma. Oh, okay. Education. Okay, use spaces or commas. Okay. Uh, learning. I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay, don't worry about the policy. Yeah, don't worry about that unless you have one. I'm assuming you don't. Okay, does this skill allow users to make purchases or spend real money? No. No, it doesn't collect personal information. No, it's not targeted for children under 13. No, no advertising. I certified that this Alexa skill may be imported to an exporter from the United States, all other countries, yada, yada. Um, uh, let's see. So we need to give them some testing instructions because somebody actually on the other end tests our skill. Um, Let's see, so open flash briefing to listen to updates. I'm not quite sure, they'll tell you if you're wrong. Okay, it'll tell you what you did wrong. Um, Cause I've done several wrong. Um, okay, let's see public. Um, we're not doing the beta test. Opt in to automate it. When you submit your scale, we'll access its eligibility eligibility for distribution to all locales in a given language. Sure. English, United States. Save and continue. Let's 
skills are really a lot of fun to create. They just require a different, completely different kind of mindset. And it gets frustrating. And it's frustrating because we're so websites are used to being so visual and all of this stuff and everything um, skills are verbal. And um, so right now, last time checked, last time validations were checked, zero errors were found. We recommend validate the skill changes by running the validation test every time you submit a skill. So we're going to run it. I think I already did that. So let's do that again. Um, but this this counts for a skill submission. Like I said, they said it could be simple, and this is simple. So um, when it comes to setting up Anchor, while well, that's you know finishing setting up Anchor, it's free. It's online. Um, it it's it's pretty simple to do as well. You just create an account. You can add an image in there. You can use one of the templated stuff. Um, you can add a description. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it a recap of what you thought of the semester, you know, so far when it comes to like the pandemic and ever, all the other frustrations that we've been facing. You don't have to put it on a public site. Um, and the chances of anybody seeing it are slim to none. Okay, so now we do the submission. So certify and publish, submit for review. Hopefully it's gonna go. Yep. Okay, so it's been submitted for review. So after that's done, you should hopefully um, count for your final project and you should be good to go. Okay, um, let's see. Submit your skill name and your vendor ID for review. I think you do that in here. I don't remember. Okay, right here. Once you've built your skill and you're ready to distribute, ensure that the skill is publicly available so we can view it. Be sure to come back to this final projects page and submit your skill name and vendor ID. Okay, so there's instructions on there. Um, again, the chances of anybody finding it are slim to none uh, unless you want it to be found, but, and then you can, you know, delete it. And get rid of it if you don't want to just don't do anything you don't want anybody else to hear you know keep it pc and clean and all that good stuff um but you can delete it so you don't have to worry about it being out there forever and ever and ever but you also know what they say nothing goes off the internet <laughs> so just keep those things in mind but let me know if you have any questions on this um if you're like someone who likes to talk you might be thinking about a podcast you know sometimes you know, just want to talk and think things out loud and share your comments and thoughts to me. A podcast might be a great way of doing it. Um, my husband says I like to talk a lot. So that's kind of one of the reasons I do Bites and Bits because I share my thoughts because he doesn't listen. Okay. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and let me know if you have any questions.